Hi everyone, it's Tom Gentile. Welcome to Tom's Trading Room. And today I want to talk about probability. So there's been a lot of talk on TV recently that options traders can help predict the price, the expected price move of a stock. Uh, to some degree, that is true. I want to show you how you can do that right here in Tom's Trading Room. So once you've logged in, where I want you to go is I want you to go to Stocks. And then I want you to go to charts, and we're going to look at probability cones first, and then we'll look at probability charts. These are the two areas that you can use in our tools to help you get a gauge on where a stock's expected move is likely to happen. So we're looking at Twitter because Twitter has been the talk of the week. And you can see here Twitter was in a really nice tight range all right, prior to earnings, and we can see what happened when the earnings report came out. But if I back this up, to the 24th, all right, which was the last day before Twitter's earnings were actually announced, then we can try to get an idea of where this probability uh, was likely to show us to go. Now, um, when you bring this up, it's going to look like this. It's going to be default set based on 100 days standard deviation, all right, or 100 days statistical volatility. And as you can see here, the red line represents our first standard deviation, and the blue line represents a second standard deviation. So if you don't know what standard deviations are, in a nutshell, what it tells me is going forward, statistically, Twitter should stay in this red range, all right, and has a 68% chance of doing that, all right. In the blue range, it actually has, going forward, a 95% chance of staying inside the blue range. Now, what does that mean? That means that there's a 5% chance it could come outside of that line, which it did, as we saw following the earnings report. But this is based on the statistical volatility. As we were coming into earnings, the implied volatility, if I click on the 7 to 149-day IV and then update from there, the implied volatility was a bit higher. As you can see, it too was suggesting that there was going to be a wider move, but was the move uh, contained? No, Twitter actually moved outside. Now, what we're doing is we're looking at the all the options, all right? An average mean across all options from seven days all the way out to 149 days to expiration. We may want to try to get that and move it in a little closer, all right? looking at, uh, at options that are short-term options, because earnings are a short-term event. So the next place I want to take you to is uh, if you go to stocks and you go to charts, go all the way down the probability charts, and you're going to see something that looks similar. However, we have a probability calculator, which you can actually manually put information in. So now I'm looking at Twitter once again, and I'm looking at the 24th. I backed the date up to last Friday, the, the, the uh, 24th of April. And I've got Twitter in, I've got a stock price, and then I've got uh, I've got bands, I've got nothing on here. I can put bands in here if I want to, but I'm going to leave that alone because we got the probability chart already in place. So, at this point, I'm going to change some things. I've got the stock price set at 50, which is very close to where it is today. But I've also got looking out five days in the future. And then down here, instead of 100 days statistical volatility, I want to look at the 7 to 30 day IV, all right? Now, when I plug in 7 to 30 day IV, look what volatility does. It jumps from 44.59 to 74.21. It's probably even higher when you look at just the seven day options on their own, all right? So at that point, let's just go ahead and click on the calculator button, which is up at the top of the chart. And now look at the standard deviations and what they've done. All right. So what we're seeing now is we're seeing standard deviations that are much, much wider based on what? Based on the fact that the premiums in the options suggest that everyone is looking for a double digit move in Twitter. And did we did it still exceed the move? Yes, it did. But it didn't close that far away from where the second standard deviation band is. So if you look at that blue band, that blue band comes all the way down to below 45. I think it probably hits about 44. Where did the stock price close on that day? It closed somewhere around 42 and change. So uh, do, do options allow traders to have some sort of a predictive ability to where an earnings report may lead the stock in the future? Yes, to some degree they do. Does it work 100% of the time? No, 
All right. How can you find this information out? This is one way of doing it by using the stock charts area and moving to charts, probability cones, and charts, probability charts. All right. Hope you found this video not only entertaining, but educational. And we got more coming your way. Thanks for joining me.